You're about to head out on your very first road trip in your Tesla Model Y. You're excited beyond belief, and then it occurs to you, hey, I didn't do all the research that I probably should have. In fact, I have one question. How much range do I get or miles put on the battery in, say, hmm, 15 minutes? Let's go find out. <laughs> To get things started and give you all the details of this particular test, I mean, it's not scientific or anything, it's just kind of, let's see what happens kind of thing. I have been driving around this morning. I uh, dropped off both my sons at school. Uh, we have 18% on the battery right now, which equates to 50 miles on this 2022 Tesla Model Y performance. Now this will still apply to a long range because the battery aspect of it should, should not be any different. I am preconditioning right now for fast charging. I am hoping to arrive at the supercharger at say between 10 and 15%. I think that's a, a sweet spot for most people in what they're comfortable with on a road trip and what they would be rolling into a supercharger uh, at. So. Uh, percentage and all that stuff really doesn't make a difference. We do want it to be above 10% because I don't know if you know this, but between zero and 10% or thereabouts, it is a little slower charging. So uh, I think it might be six or 10 or it's around there. It's slower charging just to get the car up to speed and get that low portion of the uh, battery pack uh, charged and then it takes off. So I'm hoping to get there between 10 and 15%, which I think I can do. That will give me enough time to get the battery uh, preconditioned for charging and we'll go from there. So that's what we're looking at. I'm gonna drive around a little bit, let this thing warm up and uh, get it down to 10 or 15%. Hey, are you in there? Oh, I see you. There you are right there. I, I can see you. Well, now that I've got your attention, hit the subscribe button. You've gotten this far into the video. It means the world to the channel. It takes seconds out of your day and it puts a smile on my face and makes you feel warm and fuzzy. This is probably one of the most common questions uh, newer EV owners or purchasers or on the fencers or even the electric vehicle deniers, dare I say it, uh, they wonder how long it takes. You roll up onto a, uh, a supercharger, you're on a road trip, how long it takes to get the battery. I'm gonna go with the 15 minute mark for this test. We'll use other marks in other tests, but for this one, the 15 minute mark for me was kind of the sweet spot. That's about the amount of time it takes to, you know, park, plug in, do some stretching, go to the bathroom, get some snacks, and by then, your 15 minutes are up, we'll see how much charge we have. And I think you're gonna be surprised at the outcome. I kind of have a feeling I already know. I've road tripped this car a bunch, but uh, that's also, I mean, a good sweet spot for those gas cars that roll up onto a, a service station. The, the difference, by the way, a viewer brought this up, you kind of have to monitor a gas fill up because you have to gas up and move your car. So obviously you have the locking mechanism on a gas car uh, for, the, for the gas pump, but for the most part, you gotta keep an eye on that. But 15 minutes, believe it or not, you're probably there about that much, unless you're really going for a splash and go. And, but on a road trip, you kinda wanna stretch, you wanna get your snacks, you wanna go to the bathroom, you're gonna do that no matter what kind of car you're using, right? So that's why I came up with the 15 minutes. Maybe we'll do a 20 minute down the road, see how much we get with that extra 15 minutes. We'll do a fill up as well. I think I've already done a video on that, honestly. I think I did a five to 65%. Go check or I'll link it or something. So that's where we're, we're doing. We're doing the 15 minute uh, challenge or simulation of road trip stuff. All right, we are rolling up on the supercharger. We are at 15% state of charge, which is kind of what I wanted, 41 miles on this particular model. And as you can see, preconditioning for fast charging has stopped, which means the battery is ready. It's a semi-warm day, it's getting warmer. It's 1024 in the morning, 89 degrees. And so uh, battery is ready to charge, couldn't get any better in my opinion. So uh, we are about to roll up on the supercharger. I'm gonna go ahead and stop since there is a police officer ahead of us here. All right, rolling up on the Santa Clarita supercharger. Ducks and geese off to my right here, if you're familiar with the area. Lots of Teslas here, so I'm sure we have some viewers. 
and I'm hoping to get one of the 250s. Now this is a split installation. And what I mean by that is the original supercharger installation was uh, V2, 150 kilowatts. And then they added eight V3 stalls at 250 kilowatts. Nice plaid over there to the right. I don't know if that got caught. Actually two plaids and a three. So I'm gonna try to get one of these 250s. I think I see one open, that's great. That was a couple open. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. That way we get the absolute fastest speeds. So we're gonna pull in between this white Y and this gray three. And then we'll set up the camera. Ooh, lots of shade here, I like that. So we're gonna set a stopwatch for 15 minutes, see how much charge we get, and go from there. All right, so just so we have this uh, documented, we're at uh, 1027, haven't plugged in yet. 15% state of charge, 40 miles on the battery. Let's go get plugged in, and I'm gonna try to plug in and start the stopwatch as close as possible. So here we go. All right, let's grab the handle. And we are plugging in, and I started the stopwatch. I'll show you that in a second. All right, so there is our stopwatch on my Apple Watch, and we're gonna go ahead and move this. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere near that, and the clock has started at 1028-ish at 15% state of charge, so we're gonna go for 15 minutes and see how much we uh, gain. 15%, 41 miles, and it'll tell us here as well. So, thinks it'll be 20 minutes to get where we're at there, which is interesting, so we'll see how much we get. I'm gonna let the camera roll. Since we're sitting here waiting together, I wanna to point this out. This looks new. I don't remember this area. That must be new on the latest uh, Tesla software update that we reviewed, and I didn't catch it because I didn't supercharge. So this is interesting. It tells you the price, the session cost, assuming after we're done, and the session energy. This is awesome. This was not here before. I should note we're only running at about 102 kilowatts. This is actually pretty slow for this charger. We should be getting, uh, I mean, it maxes out at 250, but uh, we should be getting a lot more than that. So it tells me that even though the battery stopped reconditioning, it probably should have been a little warmer. The car was driving around for about an hour before I plugged in. So it should have been ripe, but it is going up too, which is also kind of interesting. But usually on a road trip, I have noticed that if I plug into a 250 after road tripping for hours and hours and preconditioning, it, um, it maxes out at the 250 and then tapers down slowly. So I'm not sure if I'm at a bad connector or not. So this is gonna be a slower end of the test. I'm gonna have to redo this test already, I can tell you that. But uh, you know, this is real world stuff you and I are experiencing together and this could happen to you as well. So not every test is gonna be perfect, that's for sure. And it's still going up, which is very weird. Very strange. But I don't wanna stop the test because this is a time thing. We're at the five minute mark, by the way. Five minutes, six minutes actually. Uh, six minute mark, and we've added uh, nine kilowatt hours, or 35 miles. And again, we're going up again. So that tells me the battery was not warm enough because now it's warming up because it's supercharging and we're seeing the faster speeds. So kind of a wrench in our plans here, but you know, we're experiencing this together. Still ramping up here, 118 kilowatts. So that absolutely tells me the battery was not completely ready. This question does come up a lot online. Why isn't my Tesla charging at the promised 250 kilowatts? Uh, first of all, it's not really promised. And second of all, it's there's a lot of different uh, factors and this is one of them. I'm showing it to you right now. Uh, in real world test, we started 
down in the low hundreds, I think 101, 102, and now we're ramped up to 132 kilowatts. So that tells me again, the battery was not preconditioned enough. Uh, it wasn't warmed up enough despite driving around for an hour or so. Those of you that are leaving your home because you don't have home charging or whatever the, the reason may be, you live in an apartment and you're, you're, you're going to a supercharger to charge for the day, you're headed to work or whatever, like you're using it like a gas station. Let's say the supercharger is three to five miles away from your, your residence and you do put it in the nav and you do precondition. I'm telling you it's not enough. And I'm showing you that right now because now we're up to 148. And so even after an hour of driving and air conditioning and preconditioning and all that stuff, it still wasn't completely ready uh, for a super fast charge. Where are we at? We just hit the 10 minute mark, 10 minutes, 10 seconds. We have added 17 kilowatts and we have 105 miles. So we've added 64 miles in the 10 minutes or 17 kilowatt hours. I gotta show you this, it's just too cool not to show you over here. That is a like Barney the Dinosaur purple <laughs> Model S coming in. What a unique wrap on that one, wow. All right, we didn't miss much here. Coming up on the 15 minute mark, again, less than ideal conditions, unfortunately. Minute and a half now. We're at 47% state of charge. We started at 15% and 130 miles. We've added 89 miles, 90 miles since we've started this test. 47%. We got about a minute to go. And actually, uh, what I like about this test is it does show you even under less than ideal conditions for the battery and supercharging, we're still adding a ton. I mean, We've added almost 100 miles in 15 minutes and the battery wasn't even ready for it. So 50 seconds to go and then I'll shut her down. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep charging because I've got some free charging thanks to you guys for using my referral code. I think I'm gonna keep it going just to uh, add some, some miles because it's been uh, like all week. We got 30 seconds left, 30 seconds. So let's keep an eye on these numbers here. We were at 1541, so 15% start and 41 miles on the battery. Let's let's go, let's hope it gets to 100. 15 seconds. Fifty uh, 10 seconds. All right, so let's lock this in and read the numbers. 15 minutes, exactly 99. It just flipped over, 99 miles. 140 and 51%. So we went from 15% to 51%, and we went from uh, 41, we added basically 100 miles, 99 miles. So in the 15 minutes, and the battery wasn't even ready. So 100 miles in less than ideal situation, in less than the ideal uh, battery charge and preconditioning and that sort of thing, and it's still pretty fast, it's still pretty great. Just imagine basically double that if the battery was ready. So now we're starting to see this getting populated. That wasn't there already, even though we're still charging. We've added 27 kilowatt, does that match up here? Yeah, it does, okay, great. And session cost is gonna be zero, thanks to you guys. So there we go, that's our test under apparently less than ideal conditions. I decided to charge it up to 65%. It's going to flip over 179 miles. So I added 138 miles. We're up to 180 miles now and 65%. We're going to go ahead and stop charging and unplug. And the full session was a little longer than 15 minutes, but uh, I just wanted to get the battery uh, up and going. I've been leaving it uh, pretty low to do this test for a few days. So we'll hit stop charging. I don't usually do that on the screen, but I figured, hey, why not? Head on unplug. Look at that again. Everybody loves this part of the video for some reason. I'm not sure why. And 
that ends that session. Nice. Good job, Tesla. There you go. That's what to expect in 15 minutes of supercharging, even under less than ideal conditions for the battery. Not quite as toasty as I would have liked, but even under those conditions, we added about 100 miles of charge. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. We're going to do all kinds of tests like this. In fact, we're going to have to redo this test and get that battery nice and toasty and make sure that it's ready to accept a full speed supercharge. Thank you once again for watching one of our videos. Uh, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe. In fact, I'll wait. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Good job. Thumbs up to you. <laughs> I totally appreciate it. And we will catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.